Brown from the left hash, low snap, has to pick it up, gets a good block from Carney off the edge to the 40 and out to the 43-yard line. An eight-yard run on first down, and it'll be second and two. Good run on the first play of the game after a little bit of a disastrous first snap. Steph does a nice job being flexible, getting down there, picking that ball up, and, uh, and you don't know if it was a design run. Maybe it was. Uh, it certainly looked like it. Jaden Stoshak deep to receive this punt for Missouri Southern. Miller with a spiraling, driving kick. Sends Stoshak back to the 11 near the sideline. Really good punt and good coverage as he runs out of bounds on the, at the 16 out of the gun. Takes the snap and looks right. Throws right. Passes incomplete. Intended for Stoshak. Jonathan Mosley on the coverage, and it's fourth down. And Missouri Southern does move the ball from the 11 up to the 32, but the Lions are going to punt it away. Really good coverage, and that ball was knocked on as well as they're set to be honored today as Brown on first down, hands to Wolf Oak, left side, out across the 20, 25, 30, breaks tackles to the 40, 45, stiff arm at midfield into Missouri Southern Territory, and Trayvon Wolf Oak picks up right where he left off last week with a first down run of 34 yards, and the Broncos have it in plus territory. Just a great job by Wolf Oak of getting loose from that first grasp uh, the Missouri Southern State put on him. Free at the Missouri Southern 38. Davis in motion. It's a pitch pass to him going from left to right, looking to get the edge and does. 40, 35, first down, 32, before he's pinballed backwards. Bounced about five yards backwards from where he got hit. They're going to say he got to the 33. Needed three and got five. First down Broncos. Yep. In Missouri Southern territory. Brown, straight drop, has all day, fires down the middle, diving grab by Darius Melton at the 16. Good throw, even better catch from Melton. That's a gain of 17 and a first down for the Broncos. We'll call it an 18-yard gain. First down in the red zone at the Missouri Southern 15. like to see that out of this game tied back up. Second and five at the 10. Pistol formation. Wolfolk behind Brown. Brown hands to Wolfolk, right tackle, bounces outside at the 10, looking to get the edge. Stiff arms at the 5, turns it up and into the end zone. Send a receiver into the, or send a defender into the sideline and runs that one in for 6. And with 5-11 to go in the first quarter, the Broncos are an extra point away from tying it. I think the defender thought he was going to usher Wolfolk out of bounds, and Wolfolk was like, no, 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 I'm just going to send you out of bounds and then I'm going to cut up the field. I really thought that the Lions at the 44-yard line need to get it to the Bronco 49. Sampson hit hard as he throws pass, nearly picked again. And incomplete, as again it was J.K. Moore who couldn't hold on. But that was Zion Bell who came off the edge and got a shot on Sampson right as he threw the ball, and it's fourth down. Call it. Brown. Fakes a handoff, looks to throw. Right side has Hammond open, finds him at the 30. Hammond turns upfield to the 35, and he's ridden out of bounds at the 39, maybe the 40. Brown hands it off to Delso. Delso looking to pass, throws it right side. It's complete into coverage to Melton at the 30 and down to the 29. Jacob Delso dropped one in the zone that time for a pass play at 20 yards. Did they let one of the students draw up a play for homecoming <laughs> week? That's what that looked like right there. A little, little uh, trickery, which is always. Yeah. First and 10 at the 29. Marlowe still in at tailback. He gets a carry to the 30, and he's going to be hit at the 30 for a loss of one. As again, there to make the play, it was, that was Marlowe Hughes, I believe, wasn't yep. it? Off the edge. Yeah, Marlowe Hughes. He wears 26, Lohr wears 25, and it was also Calvin Hutchings there as well. Loss of one. Marlowe, a senior out of Enid, Oklahoma. Tight end shifting from left to right. It's a handoff to Ashley, running to his right, and Marlowe Hughes gets him in the backfield again. He'll carry the pile to the five. Hughes hit him at about the six. It's still a loss of two, and it'll be second and goal at the five. 24-yard line. Brown claps his hands and takes the shotgun snap. Four-man rush, steps up, now rolls right. Going to run with it to the 25, 30, cuts back, first down, 35 to the 40. Still on his feet and hit from behind by Kavanis Davis, but not before he runs 16 yards for a first down up to the 41. Good run by Steph and good pursuit by Davis, the defender, to come from behind and make the tackle. It was kind of as Steph started the slide, but it was bang, bang. Certainly nothing uh, egregious there. And uh, the big thing, like you said, Steph Brown gets the first down. Empty backfield again for Sampson. Throws right side pass. Nearly picked off through the hands of the Bronco defender. 
as that was Cam Manahan who got both hands on that one in the end zone. It'll be third down. Three receivers tightly bunched right side. Sampson in the gun, looking to throw. Straight drop, hit and dropped. Connor Johnson comes through unblocked and takes him down back at the 31-yard line for a big loss, and it'll be fourth down and long. Just a blitz right up the middle that the offensive line didn't pick up. Those offensive linemen didn't have their eyes up, got committed to the guys they were going to block up on the line of scrimmage and didn't see Johnson coming through. Big sack for the University of Central Oklahoma, and now behind him in the pistol it's a play action brown pressured steps right now back to his left looking to run with it 30 35 gets a block to the 40 45 50 45 40 lives leaps over a tackler at the 35 and down to the missouri southern 34 yard line 32 yards on the scramble by steph brown got a good block in space from trayvon wolfolk outstanding job by brown improvising there and, and deciding to run with that football and like you said the blocking down the field is really what helps spring the run for more yardage for UCO. Brown takes the shotgun snap blitz comes it's not picked up he steps away from a rusher runs to the 30 back to his left 25 20 still on his feet and out of bounds near the 15 yard line that is twice now that guys have come unblocked and Steph Brown has just sidestepped them and run for a first down it almost I mean besides the yardage it almost looked like the same play I mean, Steph right. spins out of it and then uh, takes off on the run. They don't get as uh, big a gain as they did on the Steph Brown scramble earlier. Brown takes the snap, hands to Wolfolk, left side, hit at the three, lowers his head and gets into the end zone for the touchdown. Andrew Portillo, 6'4", 270. He couldn't keep Trayvon Wolfolk out of the end zone, and the Broncos are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Excellent response by the offense after the defense stopped Missouri Southern State from uh, email.com if you want to shout out As we... Reese kicks this one deep Davis will go back and take it at the three and return it up to the 10 the 15 the 20 25 out to the 28 29 yard line shotgun takes the snap straight drop pass looking throwing deep right side for Hammond he's got it at the 45 in Missouri Southern Territory and carries it down inside the 40 to the 35 yard line that's a gain of 35 yards and a first down. That's the second time we've seen Hammond really wide open on that right sideline going this direction. Nice throw by Steph Brown. Good concentration by Hammond to haul it in and then to get some yards after the catch as well. First and 10 at the line. One right. Dunn is the tight end. Left side. Max protect pass as Steph looks to throw over the middle. Has a man. It's Davis. Caught it at the 15, at the 10, at the 5. Cuts it back into the end zone. Have your first career touchdown, Terrell Davis, and the Broncos score on a 37-yard strike from Steph Brown to Choctaw's Terrell Davis. And it's just that easy. You get, you know, you get sacked on second down. You bring up third and long, and they'll just put the ball in the end zone. The Broncos respond on the eight. Carney in at fullback to the right of Brown. Wolfolk behind him. Four-man rush. Brown steps up, throws middle of the field. Pass caught at the 45 and out to the 47. It went right through the hands of the defender. Good concentration by Terrell Davis to make the grab for a 19-yard catch, and that's how the third quarter comes to an end. It's 18 yards from the 28 up to the 46, and we are tied as we head to the left. And it's a play action. Steph looking to throw, has all day, fires over the middle. There's a flag down for a penalty on Missouri Southern, but it doesn't matter because he finds Terrell Davis for another long catch all the way down to the 31-yard line in Lions territory. We had a receiver get tackled. It's going to be a hold on Missouri Southern. I'd almost guarantee it. Formation, Cottrell dots the eye behind Carney. Handoff, Cottrell left side, hit in the backfield, gets away, goes back completely the other way to the 35, 30, 25, and out of bounds at the 21-yard line for 10 yards, make it the 20-yard line for 11 yards and a first down. Steph Brown became a blocker when Cottrell reversed the field right there. Did you see what he did? Blocked his own player. That's what he did. He ran into his own guy. <laughs> well, he's still blocking. He's a quarterback, man. They don't practice blocking very often. Got excited. He Got did. Got excited. He took did. off down the field. Great run the fullback this time. Wolfolk the tailback. Brown hands it to Wolfolk. Left side. Gets away from a tackle. The line of scrimmage. 
15, lowers his head to the 11, to the 10, gets away from another scrum of players and all the way down to the five yard line. Trayvon Woolfolk is hard to take down. He just ran for 15 and it's first and goal Broncos. I don't I don't understand anything about that run, Todd. Like he, Trayvon Woolfolk should have been down four times during that run and just kept getting out of the grasp of Missouri. Warrensburg, 41-38, they beat uh, Northwest Missouri State today. Blitz comes, throw right side, complete the lang, he catches it, and Raekwon Wicks blows it up right at the line of scrimmage for no gain. Tried the little in 10 Broncos. Cottrell gets a pitch, going right, has room to the 25, 30, cuts back, 35, all the way out to the 37. They just outflanked Missouri Southern and pitched it for a 12-yard gain on first down. Good run by Cottrell. Love seeing him back on the field for the Broncos this week. Pass the tackler and all the way down to the Missouri Southern 44. That's a gain of 15 on the play. He got face mask too, and they didn't call it. I mean, the guy, defender got his hand all over his face mask. and that's Back behind Carney. Brown hands it to the fullback. Carney finds room at the 40. 35 lowers his head, 30, and spun down to the 29. First and 10 Broncos, a little fullback hit dive for 15 yards. That's got to make your 1998 team happy up there in the sports performance. Broncos the win. 29-yard field goal, middle of the field. Snap is back. The hold is down. The kick's away. It's got plenty of leg, and it's good. The Broncos win 30-27. to Happy homecoming, Choke fans. UCO walks it off and sends Missouri Southern home at 3-2. and two. Great win for the Broncos today. Got it back together a little bit offensively. Uh, had some good moments on defense as well and beat a team that they weren't favored to beat. And this is a big win for the Broncos going into next week where they have a... <laughs>